Hello, welcome back. This should be a very short turn. Um, first of all, we attacked into some, I think it was Horse Tribe? Yeah. Horse Tribe of the Wastes. With our mundane units. And my, pro my prophet. And they basically just walk forwards. Not the most exciting battle ever. Um, but we took the province with no casualties. Um, and it has 23 income, <laughs> so it's not a great province. Uh, and that's it for messages. Uh, recruitment, we just picked up another. We did not get Earth again. Um, so I'm recruiting two more Sacreds and finally a Raphaite Sage who have Adept Researcher plus four. Which is good because I've got Drain Scales, so I need all the bonus research I can get. Uh, they also have the most, the highest chance of getting Earth. Uh, my expensive mages are guaranteed to get Earth, like this guy would just have Earth 1, but that's 315 gold, which I don't have at the moment. Uh, these two provinces that we've taken are not great. 59 income and 23. I should have just come down into the plains, I see now. This province is 64, this one is 96. Although there are heavy infantry and crossbows here, so that might be quite difficult. Um, the farmland doesn't look too bad now, it's reporting only 30 units. 118 income. Maybe I should have just walked into this province. See, so yeah, I was going to just go up to the swamp next and walk around towards this farm and try and get this area, but... There's nowhere... I can't, like, ef efficiently move this army back towards this direction. If I want to go here, I have to just go to a province that I already own first. Um, because I can't get across here. I've got no chance of going through these barbarians. So yeah, I'm just going to pick off a wasteland and now a swamp for uh, no income at all. And hopefully I can get my other expansion armies out quickly. Although it's not looking good because I really do need to forge a piece of armor because the, the priests die very very easily otherwise. Uh, over here we can see that our scout has discovered Tian Chi. Tian Chi is played by Ramk, who is probably by far the best player in the lobby, which is probably not good for us. <laughs> um, I don't think I've played with anybody else. I'm not even sure if I've played with Ramk to be honest, but I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I haven't played with anybody else in this game. Um, so I've talked about recruitment. So we had one battle. We're going to hit a swamp, unfortunately. Scouting TNG. I think that's it for this turn. Um, there's not really much else to say. I did see on the Discord that Zibalba lost the Pretender already. Which is quite funny. Did they go AI? How'd you see that again? Oh. No. They were threatening to go AI on like turn 2 because they lost the Pretender and they were depressed. <laughs>
Uh, I mean, my pretender does, but... Oh, what? We got a fire guy. Damn. So we've got enough sacreds now to start expanding, but I'm really not sure about sending this guy out without a breastplate. The priests just died too easily in my test games. There's Tianchi's cap. Doesn't look like he's he wants to go through this barb province either. Let's see how his expansion's going. So I put the province but province events up here. Um might be worth just grabbing. No, I don't have the gold. I want to get another Edomite or Emite. Um, yeah, this is going to be really slow if I don't start sending them out now. Where can you go to? Do I want to send them out without a breastplate? What else can I forge? Maybe there's something else I can forge. I could forge. Enchanted ring mail armor, maybe that's fine. Um, does fire get anything? No. What does this cost? Five poles? That's pretty expensive. Alright, well, I'll just forge an enchanted ring mail and see if that's good enough. And the turn after this, we'll send Hod out to start. Um, Start expanding. So we'll scout more of Tianchi. Um, this army, oh god, of course it's heavy cav. Um, where do I want to go with these guys now then? I don't think I can take a heavy cavalry province. Where can you move? Just this area. So we can do lion tribe, wolf tribe. Wolf tribe sounds pretty scary because these are. These are the guys who have two weapons, right? I feel like having a bunch of like size two units in front of your giants, all with two weapons each, sounds pretty bad. I can't really remember what Lion Tribe do though. Um, we'll, we'll try the Lion Tribe. I think that's the safest bet. I'll just check, yeah, we've got province events everywhere. So we'll attack into the Lion Tribe, we'll forge a, an Enchanted Ringmail. Give that to Hod next turn and send him into one of these other provinces. Uh, we really need more, we, we need to t start taking these provinces because we need more income. The scouting report's up to 40, that's still quite small. I, I think, yeah, we, we should have just gone straight into this province, I think. It was silly pulling back and going up this way. Alright, ending turn. So that was turn 4 and 5. Lucky you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in turn six. Hello, welcome back. Uh, another short turn. We got enchantment to one. Moving on to thaumaturgy next. And there's a battle in Spy Woods. This was just some lion tribe. Look at me remembering the names of shit. Uh, same as usual. Nothing terribly out of the ordinary happens. There we go. We lost one Edomite. Still not too bad. Down to 15 units. Uh, so that's over here. We can recruit the Lion Tribe Witch Doctors here. It's another nature mage. Bit easier to get because they don't need the temple. Uh, and that's it for messages. <laughs> so we can see more of Tianchi over here. I'm going to scout his cap next. Um, over here, my prophet is going to continue on through these woodlands. This really is just terrible land, isn't it? Swamp, waste throne, waste forest. Uh, I'm scared of barbs, scared of heavy cav, scared of the throne. Kind of scared of wolf tribe as well. Scared of this throne, so <laughs> only province we can really go for is this forest next. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. Same army, same everything. Should be fine, it's just militias, light infantry, and archers. Uh, over here, I'm using my death mages to cast reanimation. 
I'll just burn through my the death gems that I've got at the moment. This this cost me six death gems, but it'll get me a few um, giant skeletons, which are quite useful. We can stick them at the front of the next expansion army and, and maybe hit some of the tougher provinces. I'm not sure. Uh, but Hod here has um, been given the enchanted ring mail. He's got a protection of 12 now. Usually it would be 4 if he only had his... Um, if he was nude, it would be 4. That's not too bad. Uh, I would have preferred to have a black steel breastplate, but it's something. Uh, so we'll attack into this plains province. Militias, archers, and heavy infantries. Uh, the units are arranged like this. They're in separate squads uh, just to distract archers. Because if I remember correctly, archers um, decide to attack um, individual squads. So the more squads you have, the less likely they are to target your commander sort of thing, which is the, the reasoning for doing this. Uh, the minus three morale is pretty bad, but these guys have quite high morale, and of course they go berserk, and once they go berserk, it, their morale is irrelevant anyway. Uh, also got one of the guys on guard commander. This guy himself is going to bless three times in a row while these units hold still. He'll then cast Skeletal Body on himself, and then he'll start animating Skeletons. Uh, that should be fine. In my test games, this was sufficient to take out any normal province. The only things I have to dodge are Barbarians, and certain complexions of cave uh, provinces. But other than that, they, it's, they seem, this seems to kill everything other than those things. But I don't think I had any crossbows when I did tests, so I'm not sure about crossbows. But um, we'll see how it goes. Uh, Recruitment-wise, I'm getting my first Rephite Sage. Hopefully he has <laughs> Earth Magic. Because I need to get a Karen out again to lead the next army. Uh, we've got two sacred, so we've got maybe another two or three turns of recruitment to go before we need a new leader. Um, and the only other thing to mention is that I'm recruiting a regular commander in this province who will just march around and start building a fort when I actually have the income. My income is terrible still at the moment. I really hit some just dog shit provinces. I should have just gone this way first. Kind of a mistake. But oh well, hopefully we recover a bit now. And if we start making income a bit more quickly, we can recruit the sacreds more quickly, which gets our armies up more quickly, which is, you know... Yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna end the turn there. Uh, nice. Might get another turn soon. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.